Now, what we've also got up here is a slideshow. So say you're doing a presentation of your work, all right, and you want to, to show it off to people, or you're, you're showing people in a, in a group or a conference or something like that, and you want a really quick slideshow put together, again, taking all of your three-star images, or you could flag these up as you know, blue or red or whatever you want, um, slideshow image, over here, look, same thing with the options. You've just got, there's templates here, there's Lightroom templates, you know, you see how they look. Okay, I'm gonna say crop to fill. So we've got a big full screen. Uh, zoom to fill the frame. Show guides, don't want all the guide, look, zero pixels. I don't really want those in there. Okay, so on your slideshow here as well, you have the option of an identity plate. Now, here you'll see, look, I've typed in John Deere Photography. When you first come into Lightroom, this will actually be, it'll be defaulted to the name of your computer. So what you can do is you can change that by just going up here to Lightroom, Identity Plate Setup. And here, look, you'll see, you can customize a personalized identity plate where you just type in the words that you want, you can set the size, you can set the, the font, whatever you want. Let's change this a wee second. Let's change it to that. I don't know what that font looks like. doesn't matter. Just put it in like this. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. So completely different looking thing. Let's change it. We're not going to use this for now, but I'll just change it to, you know, a blue or something. Or, yeah, let's take a... Okay, and I'll just click OK, and now look, up there, very subtle, it's hidden in against the sky, but it'll automatically take your identity plate and put it on there as well. So, um, let's change that back actually, because let's Lightroom, identity plate setup, and I'll just pick a different font. There's the one it was, and we'll put it back to white. Cool. Right, now I don't like those identity plates, but sometimes if you were doing a slideshow that would say it was going on display on a screen somewhere or something, and it was just going to loop around, these can be very, very handy because you're able to put, like for instance, down here, you're able to put that on every image that, that you're going to show. Uh, you can also reduce the opacity of it, so instead of it being a big you know, by a white bit of text across your photo. You can be quite subtle about it and reduce the opacity. You can scale it up. All right, and whatever way you want, you've got very various adjustments on here, but as long as people can read it without kind of taking away from your, from your photograph, um, everyone does their own different thing. What you can also do, apart from the identity plate, you can also add a watermark. So if you had a template set up for a watermark, you just click that in and it'll apply the watermark as well. You have star ratings and stuff. I don't like that at all. Look, it, it puts in three stars and things. I don't want that. Um, but yeah, a couple of, couple of things you can do. Text overlays, colors, backdrops, all of that. Okay. Now, what you can also do here is you can choose whether you want an intro screen on your presentation. So I might say, yeah, John Deere Photography, scale that up. That's grand. Uh, we want an ending screen. Okay, so we want the color to be black. We want the font to be that size, and there's our identity plate. So we've got that at the start and the finish. Um, you can also add music. If you have royalty-free music or your own music that you want to add into the, the presentation. Okay, so as we go down through, let's see. Once you go down to the bottom, you'll see that you can click preview to preview your your show and there we go we've got our title and it flicks through with a low level of pan and zoom in and out of your photos and if you don't like it if you think the slide length is too long or too short the crossfades are too long or too short you want to take crossfades out altogether you want to take out the pan and zoom you know you just adjust your sliders and preview that and see how it looks.